is, is being talked about already with the, the field dimensions in New York being a little more narrow and shorter. For you, does that change anything the way you prepare, or if so, how? I mean, you have to definitely take into consideration. It was, uh, I, I think it was Jason who actually used to say it when I think he played at the cab a few times. You say, oh, it's a place really tough to play in, you know, can't play there. So, um, it's always, it's no doubt, it's always harder to play on a, uh, on a smaller field. Um, it, it almost turns the game sometimes into a little bit of a pinball match. Uh, so that, that, that part will be, there's no doubt that will be a part of, of the game. It's something that we have to um, take into consideration and it's something we've talked about. Is your staff as prepared as more than any other in the league to deal with those conditions? I, I don't know. Um, I, I think sometimes it also is your team. You know, how does your team uh, deal with that, and, and do they have sort of the assets on the field to be able to take advantage, or are you at a disadvantage as well? So um, the one thing is, you still got to be good in possession. You know, you still got you get still got to defend well. Um, the one thing you have to be careful of is that I think no matter where you lose the ball, you know, you can strike quickly, and it's hard to recover because you don't have as much time and space to do that. And that, that's a big piece. So transitional moments in the game are going to be really, really important.